teaching receptive and productive skills. In this course I learned so many new and helpful things about teaching, grammar, teaching methods, students, groups, ESA methods, lesson planning, games, etc. General Overview I also learned about teaching skills, and which part of them we can say that they are important. We can say that there are many positions we can call teaching, professors, tutors, and teachers. But let's talk about actual skills. I can say that there are two types of teaching skills, but they are both equally important. Teaching productive skills. Teaching receptive skills. Also there is teaching pronunciation, but I will put my focus on those two skills. What can I say about receptive skills, is that they are a very important part of teaching. Two basic types are, reading and listening. Students always have problems with reading and listening, so the teacher should always try their best to keep students focus and encourage them to read. The teacher should always make a lesson plan and it has to content. Lesson stage. Engage, engage is the first stage, and in this stage the teacher will inspire students and encourage them to speak in English. Study, after engaging next stage is study. In this stage the teacher will present new content. After this stage when students are familiar with the lesson and the topic, teacher will go to the next stage. Activate, this stage teacher will get students to speak and think in English. Games we can play to practice are, role play or any other game which should make students think in English. The teacher should always choose the material which students are interested in. The choice of topic is very important because in that way the teacher will have attention and students will listen. The teacher should motivate students to think in a foreign language and to use their mind. So we can say that this teaching skill is one of the indispensable parts of teaching. Productive skills. Productive skills we can divide into two groups, speaking and writing. Those two skills are made for communication. Therefore the teacher should motivate students to communicate with each other and with the teacher. The teacher should encourage them to speak, even if they are not the ready, teacher should find what's the problem and solve it. Most of the students are shy or have no confidence, so therefore the teacher should always know how to react. Most of the students are scared of making mistakes, so from the beginning teacher should not pay full attention to mistakes, the teacher should give students time. There are some techniques I learned about how to encourage students. One of them is group and pair work which I think is helpful, and it's a good option to make students beaver. Of course the teacher should always go step by step. Speaking is a really important part of our lives. Writing skills, writing skills sometimes can be boring because the class is quiet. So the teacher should make it more fun for students. Here we also have engaged, study, and activate. I don't have to say much more about writing, but no doubt is important and it's an essential part of learning English. In this course like I said, I learned a lot of useful things, and I hope it will help me to be a good teacher. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.